hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine third person shooter series so today i'm going to show you how to implement a hit reaction on the npc characters like this so now as you can see my gun can detect all kinds of surfaces and we did that in the previous episode and now it can hit on other enemy characters and it also spawns blood particles as well uh, we haven't implemented the blood implemented blood splatters on the ground yet but we will look into that later for this part i'm going to only going to work on this hit reaction how to detect the enemy character and how to invoke the on bullet hit function when it hit the other character so the basic structure is like this this character this is uh, soldier this soldier character blueprint implements a function blueprint interface called damageable and from the gun blueprint I call that damageable interface through that damageable interface I call on bullet hit function of this character so basically when my gun blueprint hit anything it will call on bullet hit function of the object it hits but only the objects that which have implemented those that damageable interface will show the reaction otherwise it will just uh, imp uh, just uh, show some particle effect and place decals so yeah now let's see how to actually implement what I explained right so first let's see what happens when we shoot on the body of the enemy to start implementing the get hit function and at the moment I can shoot on ground or basically any other surface but not on the I, do, I can't hit on the body of the character so yeah let's see why let me open the character soldier blueprint and first let me open the gun blueprint as well right so this is how I detect impacts bullet hits I yeah I do this line trace by channel using this vi using this visibility channel so maybe I should I have ignored the visibility channel collision here let's see yeah I am ignoring that well to keep things clear I need a clear way to define whether this object is uh, something that I can shoot and this object is something I can't shoot so to define that I'll go to project settings and under collision let's add a new trace channel I'll call it bullet trace so default response would be block and let's accept it and yeah I can't see that here let me recompile and close this And 
and now let's change the trace channel to bullet trace right and by default everything should block that channel so my hit function should still work yeah. it does work and for the character I get the default particle that's wrong instead I should get the blood but why am I not getting that well that's because I haven't added a physical material mm, I think I should not enable bullet hits for the capsule so from phone I'll go to custom and disable this bullet trace and let's select the mesh and it does uh, consider bullet trace shall we try it again ok now I yeah only hit the character's body but the default uh, but the collision sorry the particle is wrong so I'll select the body and change the physics material to flesh all right right now you can see blood particles spawn this uh, decal is wrong we should add a decal like a wound and also you see those decals do not move with the character so that is also a problem okay so we will address those issues one by one first let's make a way to do some reaction when this character get hit so and I'm going to use this animation for the reaction and I'm going to import that into my project wait what happened all right I don't have to import the mesh I only need to import the animation and this is the animation and please note that I added the root bone to this one using this blender plugin I have as I have shown in previous videos to match with my current skeleton and I'm going to use this as the reaction montage so let's create an animation montage standing react small from front front right now mm, let's go to bpi character interface which i have implemented here and let's add a new function No, on bullet hit oh, is it suitable for the character no yeah, yeah yeah right so I have yeah the problem is if I implement on bullet hit function in the character blueprint then what about things like explosive barrels so then in order to make them explode I'm gonna have to you implement 
on bullet hit on those explosive barrels we don't have explosive barrels yet but we are gonna have to implement the same interface so therefore I'm not that's bad because if I implement BPI character on barrels then it's not very clear so therefore I'll create a new blueprint interface I'll call it BPI damageable here I'll define on bullet hit mm -mm. For now, I don't think I would need any inputs here. So yeah, now let's implement that function, the damageable function, damageable interface in the character, and let's add a new event graph. reactions and health okay here I'll implement on bullet hit not like that the event on bullet hit and I'll play play animation montage oh we don't have to use that it previous way because so that I can I have better control for the montage I will use hit reaction montage we just created I'll play it in yeah, we only have the default slot at the moment, so that's all right. Okay, and I'll play, I'll use a do once node, and I'll reset it only when it is completed or interrupted. And in the gun, before going to this part, on the out hit actor, I'll call on bullet hit message. So if it is a damageable object, uh, the implementation of bullet hit function will be called so let's see what happens now yeah as you can see this guy does show some reaction it's a very basic reaction but that's okay for now and I'll stop this episode at this point in the future episodes let's look into more advanced things like how to handle handle health and also how to make this character intelligently react to the hits and also make him shoot at the player things like that and thanks for watching if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and 
again thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye